So at this point, I think it's safe to say that everyone and their dog knows what President Trump repeatedly promised throughout the course of his campaign. It was one of his biggest campaign promises. Who's going to pay for the wall? Who? 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 Wrong. So now Donald Trump isn't so sure that Mexico is going to pay for the wall after all. Will American taxpayers pay for the wall? Uh, ultimately, it'll come out of what's happening with Mexico. We're going to be starting those negotiations relatively soon, and we will be in a form reimbursed by Mexico, which I've so always said. So they'll pay said. us back? Yeah, absolutely, 100 percent. So yes. the American taxpayer will pay for the wall at first? All it is is we'll be reimbursed at a later date from whatever transaction we make from Mexico. Mexico's president said in recent days that Mexico absolutely will not pay, adding that it goes against our dignity as a country and our dignity as Mexicans. He says well, quite simply they're has, not paying. David, I think he has to say that. He has to say that. But I'm just telling you there will be a payment. It will be in a form, perhaps a complicated form. And you have to understand, what I'm doing is good for the United States. It's also going to be good for Mexico. We want to have a very stable, very solid Mexico. When does construction begin? As soon as we can. As soon as we can physically do it, we're... Uh, Within from, months? Uh, I would say in months, yeah. I would say in months. Certainly planning is starting immediately. So if you don't notice there, he's changing his tune a little bit. He's saying, well, you know, we're going to pay for the wall, but now Mexico is going to pay us back at a later date. And even Paul Ryan is saying... Yeah, we're going to pay for the wall. Who's going to pay for it? Well, first off, we're going to pay for it and front the money up. But I do think that there are various ways of, as you know, I know your follow-up question is, is Mexico going to pay for the wall? There are a lot of different ways of getting um, um, Mexico to, to contribute to doing this. And there are different ways of defining how exactly they pay for it. There are, quote, many different ways that you can get Mexico to pay for the wall. Now, this is how they're going to get Mexico to pay for the wall specifically. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. They don't have any method of actually compelling a sovereign country like Mexico to pay for a policy that they want. So you're going to pay for it. Now, since the taxpayers are going to be paying for it, I know that since I'm going to be paying for this wall, I want to know how much it's going to cost. Now, Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell talked about this. As the speaker pointed out to our group yesterday, with... Um what? Border supplemental. Yeah, of yeah. a roughly uh, 12 to 15. Yeah, 12 to 15 billion dollars. <laughs> 12 to 15. Yeah, 12 to 15 billion dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? It's going to cost 12 to 15 billion dollars. Excuse me? Can you speak up? Yeah, 12 to 15 billion dollars. 12 to 15 billion with a B. That's a metric fuck ton of money, right? So at least we can take comfort knowing that this wall will be effective and it's going to prevent the millions of undocumented immigrants from flooding in to the country, right? Uh, actually, that's incorrect too. So according to Pew Research Center, net immigration from Mexico is below zero since the Great Recession. And from 2009 to 2014, 1 million Mexicans and their families have returned home to Mexico and took their U.S.-born children with them. The conventional wisdom is that this is a good thing because these undocumented immigrants, they come over, they take our jobs, and they lower wages for everyone, but that's also not true. Forbes reports, according to an April 2015 symposium, on the effects of illegal immigrants in the Southern Economic Journal, illegal immigrants actually raise wages for documented workers. And additionally, undocumented Mexican immigrants pay billions in taxes every year. So they're putting more into our system than they're taking out because they're not eligible to receive federal tax subsidies when it comes to health care and when it comes to welfare. But overall, to the average Trump supporter, they contend that none of these statistics matter because the bottom line is that these immigrants, they come over and they commit crime. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. He actually According to a study conducted by the Cato Institute, both the census data-driven studies and macro-level studies find that immigrants are less crime-prone than natives, with some small potential exceptions. There are numerous reasons why immigrant criminality is lower than native criminality. One explanation is that immigrants who commit crimes can be deported and thus are punished more for criminal behavior, making them less likely to break the law. Another explanation is that immigrants self-select for those willing to work rather than those willing to commit crime. 
crimes. According to this healthy immigrant thesis, motivated and ambitious foreigners are more likely to immigrate and those folks are less likely to be criminals. This could explain why immigrants are less likely to engage in antisocial behaviors than natives despite having lower incomes. So I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but this wall is unnecessary. And furthermore, not everyone who does come over here illegally crosses the border illegally. People actually enter the country legally and then they simply overstay their visas. That's how 40% of people actually become undocumented immigrants in the United States. So the question is, if net immigration is less than zero and the immigrants that are here pay taxes, don't commit crime, and ultimately raise our wages and contribute to society in an actually meaningful way, then why should taxpayers have to pay for a wall that will cost 12 to $15 billion? So I'm sorry if I'm not okay with the fact that the American taxpayer is going to be forced to pay 12 to $15 billion for this stupid, unnecessary wall when Flint still has lead in their drinking water. Their water is literally contaminated and is undrinkable. And furthermore, why should we have to pay for a wall that will make Trump and his supporters feel better when 10.4% of Americans still can't afford health care? When the cost of college tuition has increased by 1,120% over 30 years, when there are more than 500,000 homeless people in the country, why are we forced to pay 12 to 15 billion for a wall that will literally do nothing? It's completely unreasonable. And if you're arguing that we need a wall when net immigration from Mexico is zero, you're wrong. You're just wrong. And of course, the Mexican government has stated that they're not going to pay for the wall. We told you so, and now that burden is going to go to us. We're going to pay 12 to 15 billion for something that is completely and utterly unnecessary. That sounds kind of dumb, 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 dumb. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.